Well, the new year 2021 is set to be defining in the country's political landscape in a year when the first constitutional amendment is expected to take shape. Political alignments are already forming as politicians switch allegiances. And in the same year, major transformation is expected at the judiciary and the electoral body, the IEBC. Sam Gituku takes a look at some of those events that will craft the future of the nation. Take a look. In two days' time, learners in primary, secondary and tertiary institutions return to school after a nine-month break occasioned by the COVID-19 pandemic. It will be a new experience for the learners who for the first time will be required to keep unusual distance, wear masks, even as they face the uncertainty of learning shifts. In March this year, KCPE and KCSC candidates will sit their transitory exams, KCSC concluding in April. At the corridors of justice, a transition is expected as Chief Justice David Maraga retires on the 12th of this month after a four-year tenure. The Judicial Service Commission is thereafter expected to commence the recruitment process of the next CJ alongside a new judge of the Supreme Court after Professor Jackton Ojuang retired in February 2020. On the 18th of February, voters in Nairobi will return to the ballot to elect their next county governor and a deputy after the seat fell vacant following impeachment of Mike Sonko. Already dozens of aspirants have expressed interest in the seat with the IABC clearance expected on the 18th and 19th of this month. There are other by-elections scheduled in the first quarter of the year after two MPs and a senator died in 2020. These are Matungu MP and Machakos County Senate by elections scheduled for March 4th and the 23rd, respectively. IABC is yet to set a date for Kabuchai MP by election. Later in the new year, the country is expected to be taken through the first constitutional referendum to amend some of the provisions in the 2010 document. This is under the Building Bridges Initiative, whose signatures are already undergoing verification. President Kenyatta, in his New Year message, called on Kenyans to embrace the process. In a constitutional moment, the soul of a nation is constantly in turmoil. More so over elections and the perpetual quest for regime change. The proposed First Amendment to our Constitution in 2021, I believe, is a bold path that seeks to lay the foundation for a more just, more inclusive, more equitable and more prosperous Kenya. As soon as IEBC concludes the signatures verification, should they be more than one million of registered voters, the amendment bill will be transmitted to the 47 county assemblies for consideration within three months. 24 assemblies are required to take the bill to the next level of parliamentary consideration. Should Parliament approve the bill by a majority, it will be transmitted to the President for assenting. Given that some of the provisions in the bill require a national vote, IBC will be required to conduct a referendum within 90 days. A simple majority at a referendum is required to approve the constitutional changes. Cumulatively, it could take up to seven months for the entire process to be concluded. In October last year, President Kenyatta signed into law amendments allowing the recruitment of new IEBC commissioners to fill four vacancies at the commission. This could be carried out in 2021, given the workload ahead for IEBC. Starting this January, Kenyans revert to the pre-COVID-19 tax rates. Kenyans to dig deeper to finance the government in a year it's expected to show up its revenues after a major decline since COVID-19 struck. In June this year, the National Treasury will unveil a COVID-19 recovery budget that will also factor the political processes for the year. In the same budget, financing of the 2022 elections will commence as IEBC moves to lay the grounds for next year's general election. Etafia economically, politically and socially with calls for change of mindset and strategies to surmount the challenges. Sam Gitukos Resident TV.